Hey guys, and welcome back to Guys of Arcadia. When we last left off, we had a chat with the Chief. Ah, and there's that wonderful music again. Uh, we had a chat with the Chief. We got our uh, mission objective sighted. And we got some more fuel for our ship, which is fantastic. So, let's get out of here. Now, uh, we might not make a huge amount of progress in this video. We also upgraded our weapons because we have some bits and pieces to sort out before we even think about making some progress. Um, right, let's go all the way back, shall we? Because we've got some discoveries to find. And remember, we are on the clock in regards to those discoveries. Ah, oh, they're all these guys. Should use some magic attacks. Eh, that's okay. We actually seem to be faring somewhat okay against those, actually. Now, we need to head straight down. And we are actually up against a little bit of a time dealio here because we're looking for a particular discovery uh, and it's actually like one of the hardest discoveries to get and I think it might ooh, might be on that rock there um, let's just go you know what if you special move use alpha storm if you hit that you might be able to hit most of them in one go uh, just attack now, one thing that is cool, if you push start, you can skip those, <laughs> which is really good. Again, thanks to Chris for that. I didn't know you could actually skip those. You couldn't on the Dreamcast version. That's new to this particular version. Come on. Oh, don't kill him. Ah, oh, bastards. Yeah, so that has like a 50-50% chance of actually killing your uh, guys, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But we do have a new item, which is interesting. Uh, we need to heal. We need to heal Ika because she got knocked out. No, she no Drachma did, didn't he? So let's give him some of these cheap crystals. <laughs> he needs a few of them, but that's okay. They're cheap. Now there we go. We found the Beak Rock. That is actually a bitch to find that, especially this early on in the game, because it travels around uh, a good portion of the map. But if you're quick when you leave, because every time you reload the world map, all the positions of everything, all the moving items, uh, reset. So if you know where it's going to be, you can cheese it. Um, so luckily enough it's not actually that far away anyway we found Bleak Rock a natural rock formation sculpted by the constant wind currents of South Ocean many a sailor story tells of a giant bird flying south or being attacked by a monstrous beak but these are likely based on sightings of this rock hmm ok let's keep going Alright, let's just kill these guys. What would be nice would be for some kind of mod. That, uh... It, when we're fast forwarding, actually cuts the sound out. That would be pretty cool. Don't think we can get lucky with anything like that, though. But who knows? Let's kill these basic grunts. There we go. Serves them right! I guess I could just continue cutting them all out, but... Anyway, let's keep going. Now, I do actually have a cheat. An action replay cheat. Uh, that I've programmed into this emulator. That Now, we already got that one, didn't we? Yeah, comma rock. We've already got comma rock. Yeah, I've got an action replay cheat that actually removes the... Um, battles which is actually really nice it makes it so you don't get any battles which is really good for exploring you have found the sky an enemy a bizarre creature that lives its entire life 
attached to a rock, stretching its tentacles out and waiting for prey to float by. It releases a sweet fragrance to attract fish, but larger ones have been known to endanger smaller ships. Hmm, well, we're not going to worry too much about that guy. Let's keep going. Uh, I'm trying to remember where all the little things are that we have to find, because there's quite a few um, things that we can get here. I guess what we could do... We can actually speed it up another way by using the mouse. It might actually be slightly less annoying to do it this way. Maybe. It's not quite as quick. But at least that way you guys don't technically miss anything. Right, not bad. At least this is all money anyway. Pretty sure? No, maybe not. Okay, I thought there might be something on that rock, but I don't think there is. Anywho, let's keep going. Now, there is something here. The, there we go. Sneaky little maroon island. Yeah, kind of a dick this one, if I'm honest. Totally forgot about it, but there we go. Long ago, when air pirates betrayed their crew or captain as punishment, they were abandoned on this island with only a week's supply of food. So fearful did pirates become of this island, its legend lives on in the songs of air pirates even today. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty horrific. Uh, anyway, that brings us up to date pretty much on everything from this side. Hmm. Do we want to actually try and fight these things? Probably. I was going to use Incrum because he's a dick. Don't really want those to run away. To be honest. Because. Right. Uh, attack. I guess really you can use Cutlass Fury on him. And Ica you actually can use. No, go back. God damn it. Now, the reason I actually want to kill these guys with special moves is because uh, they give us a good amount of money. Oh, haha, <laughs> didn't use the special move. Nice. Nice, okay. See what I mean? Yeah, you get nearly a thousand, which is a really good amount of money. So we can't really complain there. Anyway, let's keep going, because we've still got some more discoveries to find. Set sail and conquer. I wish I'd turn off the random encounters, but I guess it's all experience. Wait, are we even going the right way? We are. It's going to take us a little while to get there. Right, we've got these things again. Um, Cutlass Fury, because we really want to kill those. Uh, and then everybody else just attack as normal. Yeah, I thought as much. Oh, you dicks. Running away. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We're going to end up with plenty of money anyway, so I have to worry too much about it. Uh, special move, Cutlass Fury. Alright, let's see if we get lucky this time. Or if... Nope. Good. At least we killed one of them. Like I say, money, yo. All about that money. Oh, actually... There is... Ooh. There is something that I'd forgotten. Uh... We actually have, for Fina, items... We found a charm, didn't we? There we go. Right, eat that. Um, okay. Didn't actually see if that made a huge amount of uh, 
difference to her stats. Equipment. Yeah, he's still a cone. He's doing 73 damage. Yeah, that's fine. Definitely did eat it, didn't he? No, we don't face. Come on, Fina. Um, items. Sure. Cham. Hmm. Yeah, we also need to catch, uh, like, thousands of fish for one of the 100% uh, completion um, objectives. Now, the only trouble is, each fish, you can only have up to 99 of each one in your inventory, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Kite rays. But you can feed them to our dudes here. So, I guess there is actually a use for them. Uh, you can sell them as well. And I think some NPCs that we come across actually need them as well, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I mean, okay. <laughs> that was a lot of kite rays, but whatever. Let's actually fast forward, because otherwise we're going to be here forever. Oh, God. Ooh. Um, I don't know... I can't remember. Ah, I can't use Alpha Storm. Right, just go for a normal attack. Does Alpha Storm kill these things? I can't remember, actually. Uh, no. Uh, they didn't. Because she's, uh, they're actually fire-based, I believe. Which is unfortunate, but hey, at least now we know. Until I inevitably forget again, of course. Ah, you bastard. Right, well, at least they didn't run away, so there's that. Let's go for a special move. Let's at least get one of them. I don't know if magic works on them, because uh, magic can actually miss where your special attacks don't miss. Oh, nice. Happy with that. Definitely happy with that. I just get both of them after all. Right, let's go. Let's keep moving. It's just very slow getting through here. Ugh, the combat. So many battles. Uh, we've got one. So that's fine. There we go. Hopefully we can get it before it runs away. We can. Sweet. You'll have to let me know what you think of me uh, fast-forwarding the battles as opposed to outright skipping them. Personally, it's easier for me to fast-forward them. Because... Ooh, God. Shit. There's things like that can happen in the battles, which you guys get to see that way. Ugh. I don't really want to turn... Ooh, good. I don't really want to turn the um, cheat on so we don't get any battles. Ooh, that was unfortunate. Because then we're missing out on experience. Although that's not probably going to be a big deal. They still, you know, don't want to miss out on experience. Because experience is money, yo. I mean, that's half the point of going around and exploring. Right, we need to heal Vase. Uh, what should we feed Vase? We actually do have some small but edible. Oh, that gives him like two health. They're pointless. What other fish do we have? You know what? Just give him crystals. Crystals are cheap. Alright, let's keep going. Ugh. See how many fights there actually are, though. There's way too many. Uh, and believe it or not, this is with the huge reduction in combat from the Dreamcast version. It's absolutely insane. Especially when you're just trying to explore. So I definitely understand why people would use the action replay cheat to cut the battles out. Definitely understand. Okay. 
Hey, ranked up. Nice. Electress was learned. Cool. We'll take it. Come on, let's just get us out of this really annoying uh, draft. Uh, only two enemies this time. Or was it three? Eh, uh, it's three. That's fine. We can handle three enemies. You can see Fina's still not doing like a huge amount of damage. Our new weapons are much better. Come on, let's get out of here. Ah, uh, we're almost out of the currents. Almost out of the currents. Almost. Uh, Cutlass Fury on these sons of bitches. I can't remember actually. I think these ones are a little bit easier to hit. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Guess that's all part of the mystery. Right? Serve some right. You tell him, Dragma. Nice. Okay, so how are we doing? Ah, oh, we're almost out. We're so close to being out of this fucking backdraft. Oh, I say, literally come out of the map and get... Get got. Okay. Also, I've been informed that there's a item that we can get called Gear Grease. Which, uh, I actually remember now. But I never remembered what it did. And it gives us spirit bar power. That we can use in ship battles. So, that's nice to know. Thanks again to Chris, <laughs> the games librarian, who is an absolute fountain of knowledge for this game. Mmm... I swear there's more battles in this than I ever remember. Like, even the Dreamcast version. There wasn't this many battles, was there? Maybe there was. Stop missing your attacks. Need you to kill the enemies, please. Definitely need you to kill the enemies. Hey, leveled up. See, we are getting XP, so... You know kind of worth it. Um, oh, God damn it. Like, if you actually look on the map, we haven't really gone anywhere. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that's not really worth using. I don't think. Alpha Storm's okay, but it's not really doing the damage we want. It is becoming kind of obsolete, but I think these creatures are just resistant to it. These gravers. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Get the fuck out of here. Right. This is good. This is where we want to be. Now, before we get any further, let's top everybody's health up. Because we have taken a little bit of damage. Right, okay. So, more discoveries. Ooh, different enemies this time. Alpha Storm. Alpha Storm the lot. Gone. I'm guessing Alpha Storm should be somewhat effective against these. Eh, somewhat. Critical hit. You son of a bitch. Yeah, man. Yeah, trouble is, um, when enemies call you into battle as well, and then they all run away, you get very little for the effort of being dragged into battle. Anywho, we've got another discovery hit. You found the Ixiness village. Ixinas Village, a tribe of women that live on a small island in the Ixitaka. In Ixitaka. They are skilled and fearsome warriors. They raid nearby villages twice a year to ki kidnap men. The numbers of men in nearby tribes have been almost reduced to nothing. Uh, what do they do with all the men? <laughs> Using them for snoo snoo and then killing them? I don't know. Death by snoo snoo, obviously. Right. Not bad. So. 
Next discovery. This way. Here somewhere, I think. I'm sure, there's another discovery here somewhere. I know there's another discovery here somewhere. Oh dear. Uh. Right. Well, special move: Cutlass Fury. Kill one of those. Everybody else, just pile on. Yeah, there should be a couple of discoveries close by. And we're going to have a decent amount to hand in. Which is going to be nice. Because, you know, nice getting our name out there. Discovering all these things. Although, I'm pretty sure some of these things can't be lost. Like the uh, outpost for naughty pirates. Oh, that was good. Look at that. That was a lot of money. Right, come on. Maybe I am in the wrong area. Pretty sure there's a discovery here, though. Nope. Nope, maybe I'm in the wrong area. Okay. Oop. Cutlass Fury on you. Everybody else piling. No, oh, you're gonna run away. You know what? Stay, go, whatever. It matters not for me. Getting some more levels again. Lovely. Uh, now where? Ah, this is where I think I need to be. Question mark. Maybe. Oh. Okay, we've gone too far, but that's okay. Hey, what's that smell? I was planning to do this here anyway. It smells like something's burning. Hmm. Look on the horizon. The forest! Oh dear. Remember? Destroying the forests? This is cool. In a terrifying manner. Volume flagship, the chameleon. D Loco. So we're gonna be fighting D Loco, it would seem. Yeah, this really does look fantastic on this emulator. Burn! 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 Witness the awesome power of my flame cannon. The thicker the forest, the more it burns. <laughs> After I've burned down the forest, I'll be able to find the lost city of Rixis, and the moon crystal will be mine. Lord DeLoco, there's a ship approaching from the aft. It matches the description of those air pirates. Vase is here? He's the kid that escaped from the Grand Fortress and defeated Belzir. Perfect, perfect! He's just in time to feel the heat from my flame cannon. <laughs> I wonder how Vase likes his food. Medium? Or perhaps, well done. I hope he doesn't die too fast. <laughs> yes, well. You're gonna be feeling my harpoon cannon, boy. Right up your arse. The forest. This is horrible. What kind of twisted psycho would do this? Whoever it is, he'll have to deal with me. If we get hit by the that blast of fire, we're done for. We'll have to dodge the flames and counterattack. Yeah, it's not that dangerous. It hurts, but it yeah, it's not that bad. I like the way he's got a dome on his ship. 
like he's wearing on his head. He <laughs> fear the power of the invincible chameleon. Uh, invincible? Alright, dude. Right, first we're just gonna get a load of... Ah, uh, do we want to attack? We don't need to attack. We'll let our uh, primary weapon do the talking here. Oh, this game just really does beg for a remake. It could make these look amazing. It really could. Now, there is a thing we can do with that flame cannon of his. We can actually hit it on the turn, uh, the turn before he uses it. We can actually knock him off guard. So, that's cool. Really cool, interesting looking ship as well. Not really sure how efficient that huge flame cannon would be, but hey, I'm not a flying ship engineer, so, you know. Right, we've got plenty of spirit points now. That's fine. We can take the damage. That's okay. Right. First thing we're going to do is a repair kit. I guess. I guess we can use. Do some damage to him. Why not, I suppose. Uh, apparently, there are cats trying to come in. Uh. Go for a standard cannon too. Yep, there are cats trying to come in. Ah, bloody cat. Okay. Don't want to miss the combat. Yeah, as you can see, he's not that tough. I mean, don't get me wrong. He can shrug off a shot or two. But it's not that bad. He will survive a shot from our harpoon cannon though. But he can't survive too. Hey. That us losing? Nope, that's fine. Ah, oh, bastard. Ah, oh, that's okay. Can't win them all. Took a couple of hits there, but that's fine. That ain't no problem. Hehehe, <laughs> it's time for the main event. You better watch out, FaZe. Don't get too close or you'll get burnt. Yeah. Yeah, this can potentially really freaking sting. But we're going to eat a repair kit. We're going to blast him with that. And then... We are going to use a heavy cannon. I'm going to see if that's going to knock him off guard, but I have my doubts. And we'll guard on that turn. Not sure if the guard's going to be that effective, but it's okay. Two titans of the sky. Well, there's only really one titan here. It's just a pretender. Oof. Yes. Yeah, that hurts, doesn't it, buddy? That really hurts. Should have focus fired a little bit, but if we did that, we wouldn't have been able to get our wouldn't have been able to get our um, harpoon cannon to fire. So, eh, we're going to take it from the revolver cannon, that's fine. Looks like we're going to get hit from the uh, flame cannon too, but again, we should be okay. He's loving it. Absolutely loving it. Oof. 
Yeah, that stung. That really stung. <laughs> How'd you like that, guys? Well, that's what you get for scratching my ship. Damn, I didn't think that flying piece of junk could do that much damage. Listen, boy, focus our cannon fire on the turn right before he attacks. It will knock him off balance. His ship is relatively small, so if we knock him off balance, he might not be able to use that cannon. Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. We got this. But first thing, we need to... Is it the Dulux kit? Yeah, 8,000 health. Let's just get that locked in. Um... Let's go for some of that. We do need to cause some more damage to him. So let's go for the three inch blasters. And we will give him a heavy cannon as well. Fuck you, buddy. We got plenty of uh, spirit points. Nice. Perfect. That bastard we missed. Really don't want to miss because. Yeah, we might need. Um, might not be able to finish him off with our main cannon. Yeah, that's that should be good. He should be weak enough now to finish him off with a harpoon cannon. Should be. You can see he's not really doing a lot of damage to us. Okay, so here we go. First thing we're going to do, use a repair kit. Basic one should do. We're going to hit him with that. And again, because we fired our harpoon cannon the turn before, I don't think we can deal enough damage. Unless, eh, it's a bit of a risky gamble. But we might be able to. This might be silly. This might actually be very very silly, but let's try hit him with a light torpedo oh no fire the light torpedo there, get it to hit we want Ica to use that and then we're going to give him the heavy cannon there and then we'll use standard repair kit should be fine Let's see. Let's see if we can hit him with our cannon and disrupt him. For funsies. Right, let's give him the harpoon cannon right up the arse. If he survives this, we'll see what happens. Oh, he did survive this. Okay. Surprised about that, actually. But we should be able to finish him off with his cannons if we get lucky. Oh, we missed. Missed with the torpedo. Typical. Ooh, that hurt. That was uncomfortable. But we should survive. Yeah, if that torpedo hit as well, that should have knocked him off. Yeah, that that's rather uncomfortable, but it doesn't really do that much damage. So, we can't actually use the harpoon cannon, which is fine. Uh, yeah, use a basic kit. What we will do, if we've got the advantage there, 
we'll get that going. Get the light torpedo going. And we shall drop a heavy cannon on him. Should be able to finish him off as long as most of this hits. And as long as he doesn't heal, which he shouldn't do. I haven't seen him heal before anyway. But take that with a grain of salt. Ooh, yes. Yes. That torpedo we have. Hmm. Haven't had a huge amount of uh, success with it actually hitting. Unfortunately. Right, now if we can drop the hammer with that torpedo and the uh, broadside. Hey, his torpedo's missed. Nice. This would be good for us. Oof. Yeah, he's had enough. The torpedo missed, but we didn't need it. Get fucked. Alright. Yeah, he's not bad. That could have... We could have taken him out quicker, but... Hey, it is what it is. Hey, another captain strike. Because, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what? What? Impossible. My my flame cannon, how? It can't be. It can't be. It can't be. There was no way they could defeat me. This must be a dream. A dream, I tell you. <coughs> sir, sir, get a hold of yourself. We must retreat. Head back to the Moonstone Mountain. <laughs> yeah, we'll finish them off next time. All right, we've got them on the run. They're probably searching for the moon crystal too. We've got to hurry. Right. Not bad. And with that, guys, we are going to have to save it because we're on almost 40 minutes. But that was a pretty good, pretty good, pretty fun, productive episode. At least I enjoyed it. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time. Thank you.